When you hear the word soldering iron, you might picture a hot metal tool melting shiny solder onto tiny electronic components. But the truth is that this tool is far more versatile and historically meaningful than most people realize. In this video, we're diving deep into what exactly a soldering iron is, how it works, why it's designed the way it is, and how it became an essential tool in everything from electronics and jewelry making to plumbing, metalwork, and even stained glass art. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the tool itself, you'll also appreciate the science and craftsmanship behind soldering and why this simple looking device has shaped so much of the modern world. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. A soldering iron is, at its core, a handheld tool designed to heat metal to the point where solder, a soft, low-melting alloy usually made of tin mixed with lead or lead-free metals, melts and flows between two components. Once that molten solder cools and solidifies, it creates a strong conductive joint. What makes the soldering iron unique is how precisely it applies heat. Unlike a blowtorch or a welding machine, the soldering iron doesn't blast intense heat everywhere. Instead, it delivers a controlled temperature to a very specific point, allowing delicate parts to be joined without damaging the surrounding area. This precision is exactly why soldering irons are so crucial in electronics. Tiny circuit boards, microchips, and wires could easily be destroyed by uncontrolled heat, so the soldering iron offers both accuracy and safety. To understand how a soldering iron works, we need to look at its components. First is the heating element, usually made from ceramic or nichrome wire, which converts electrical energy into heat. Surrounding that is the soldering tip, typically copper with an iron plating, which conducts the heat to your workpiece. This tip is shaped in different forms depending on the job. Conical tips for precision, chisel tips for versatility, and even specialized tips for desoldering or working on surface mount components. The handle, often made from heat-resistant plastic or rubber, insulates your hand from the hot parts and gives you control. Modern soldering irons also include temperature controls, either analog knobs or digital interfaces, allowing you to set the exact heat you need. This matters because not every solder is the same. Leaded solder melts at lower temperatures, while lead-free solder requires hotter operation, and sensitive electronics can be damaged if overheated. So the movable temperature control isn't just a luxury, it's a critical component for safe and effective soldering. One of the most interesting things about soldering irons is how many different types exist for very different tasks. The basic plug-in soldering iron is still common, simple, affordable, and perfect for hobbyists or occasional repairs. But step up a level and you'll find temperature-controlled soldering stations, which feature a base unit that monitors and stabilizes heat far more precisely than a standalone tool. These are used by professional technicians because they provide a consistent temperature even when the tip touches cold metal, ensuring smoother solder flow and better joint quality. There are also cordless butane-powered soldering irons that burn fuel to generate heat, perfect for fieldwork where electricity isn't available. Beyond that, you'll encounter heavy-duty soldering guns, which heat quickly and deliver more power for tasks like thick wires or metal terminals. Each of these soldering tools operates on the same fundamental idea, melt solder, join materials, but their design and capabilities vary depending on the demands of the job.
Now let's talk about what makes soldering so important in modern technology. Every electronic device you own, your phone, laptop, TV, gaming console, even your car, contains countless soldered connections. These small joints allow electrical signals to flow from one component to another, creating circuits that perform specific functions. Without soldering, manufacturing electronics would be nearly impossible. Soldering also plays a major role in repairs. A single broken solder joint can cause a device to flicker, fail, or short circuit, and sometimes a simple reflow, a quick reheating of the existing solder, can bring something back to life. But soldering goes beyond electronics. Jewelers use soldering irons to join small metal pieces, artists use them for stained glass panels, and plumbers use high heat soldering tools to seal copper pipes. It's a universal joining technique because it creates strong, reliable bonds without requiring the metal parts themselves to melt. Using a soldering iron may seem intimidating, but at its heart, the process is simple. You heat the joint, apply solder to the heated metal, not the tip, allow it to flow, and then remove the heat to let it solidify. The challenge is learning control. Too little heat and the solder becomes lumpy or weak. Too much heat and you risk damage. This is why beginners often practice on scrap boards or wires before working on real components. Flux, a chemical cleaning agent, also plays an important role. It removes oxidation from the metal, helping the solder flow smoothly and stick properly. Without flux, solder can beat up like water on waxed surfaces, refusing to bond. So the combination of heat, solder, and flux is what makes a soldering iron so effective. In many ways, the soldering iron is a perfect example of a tool that looks simple but performs tasks that are incredibly important. Its ability to join metal without brute force, without flames, and without melting the entire workpiece is what made modern electronics possible. Whenever someone repairs a circuit board, assembles a drone, builds a custom keyboard, or restores an old radio, the soldering iron is the silent partner in that creation. And despite the rise of automated manufacturing, Hand soldering remains an essential skill, one that blends science, precision, and craftsmanship. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.